We've moored up in Nantwich on the towpath and now we're just going to walk down into town. So on this lovely little footpath, comes out of the bottom of, um, there's an aqueduct to the right hand side, which is gorgeous. So I'll show you that. And there is Nantwich Aqueduct. Very cutesy. We'll go over there tomorrow and turn around. But for now, we're going to head opposite way that way into town and it looks like school's just out so that'll be fun. Nantwich is this really cute market town. Um, the Romans settled here and it's been famous for its salt extraction apparently. I read that in the Nicholson Guide. Um, so we've come for lunch, we've come to a place called Enzo which my mum's been to before and they do pizza, calzone, pasta, all sorts of things. So we're going to sit here, I've ordered pizza, I promised myself pizza and I've ordered coffee as well because I'm so tired and I need coffee, so I'll, uh, hopefully that'll be really nice. Ooh, pizza! Pizza, pizza, pizza! Very nice, we're having the same. So we're on our way back to the boat now. We went to Morrison's to get some water so we don't have to drink that horrible, disgusting stuff that's on the boat. But we're both carrying big litre bottles in our rucksacks because they don't have a little trolley. And we found this little walk, so through the park, this is the Nantwich Riverside Loop. You can go along the river so we basically come from the main road behind us and we're just going to follow across the bridge and then that kind of cuts off the main crossroads in Nantwich so it's just more pleasant than going along the main roads but it's lovely it's really nice there she is in the perfect spot oh it looks like we're gonna have a new neighbor the night that's nice home sweet home and the sun's gone in now um i mean it's still quite bright you can see it on my face and it is really beautiful i'll turn it around if you can see it yeah it's lovely out there um but we don't need to do anything now i've put the heating on um which will heat the radiators and well when i turn the radiators on it'll heat them um, and it'll heat the hot water so we're gonna have some showers but I just thought I'd let you know that we there's a great little hardware store in Nantwich called wait for it GFC Hardware um, I'll see if they've got a website and put a link in the description um, but it's near the Morrisons if you've been to Nantwich but it's really cool and I got some fire stuff so I got a I got a, a lighter because we don't we don't have one um, which was 249 comes in a little little packet and it also got this really cool light so it's led i presume it's batteries but i didn't check because we're knackered but it's got a magnet and a hook and it's super super bright um so yeah and so we're thinking look it'll go on the fireplace which is really useful if the fire's not on um or on the splashback to the the heat protector on the fire there we go which is really cool um and the hook means it can like hang in the kitchen and stuff because there's a few hooks so really useful especially because uh, my batteries are not the greatest so as soon as you put anything on in here so we try and um, have it quite like dark in the evening and cozy because the, these lights are really stark anyway so if i put this little light on and put it at the back of the fire flue uh we'll get a nice reflective glow that's the hope anyway but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chill now. Put the TV on. Uh, well, we've got dishes to wash, but dishes, shower, TV, bed. Well, it's a lovely day, and we are walking to the services. So we've just left our boat right there, and we're gonna walk to. It's about two hundred yards up to the boat services. We're not gonna move the boat because we're, we're facing the wrong direction anyway. We're going to fill up one of our water containers and empty the toilet, hopefully. So we're just walking up there now and then we've got to move today. So this is only a one day mooring spot because it's very popular and we've got, we've got somewhere to be anyway. So we can't stay any longer. Lovely though it is. So yeah, we're on our way and hopefully the services will be nice and empty. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not too busy. There's a couple of boats around, which is quite nice. Um, but it's not, you know, super packed like it would be in summer. But we had a lovely, peaceful night. It's such a lovely spot. I recommend if you, you know, if you come this way, do stop and just take a moment. It's lovely. <laughs> it's 
super sunny today. Oh, I just fell down a hole. <laughs> and there's the services. That's where we're going. Looks like it's full services as well. Let's see what they've got. And then this is Nantwich Basin, which apparently has like a shop and cafe in there, but we're not going to check that out today, but maybe in the future. Weed hatch time. Let's check the oil. And now we're doing the weed hatch. So it's good to check this before you set off. Um, because we were cruising all day yesterday. And this is pretty tight. There we go, that's looking Lisa. So we'll check that. All clear. Epic. We did end up coming to the um, chandlery and cafe area in Nantwich Basin because the weed hatch was leaking so I'm going to put a new seal on it and hope that works. So we've just been in the chandlery, it's brilliant, we've got some new shiny seal so we'll try that. And there's a little cafe here as well, we haven't really got time to go in there but yeah it's nice, it's worth it and it's got a car park so you could drive here if you just want to visit. Um, but yeah, right, back to the boat and we'll see if this works. Here's the weed hatch and it's leaking out of this corner, which is this corner here. And so what I'm going to do, this doesn't look like it's in bad condition. Uh, it's still got a bit of spring, but it's obviously, yeah, a bit rubbish. So we'll take this off, clean it, and then put the new one on. Joy's a boat in. <laughs> The mum's doing this for me while I re-prep the toilet and put the kettle on. Here's some of that seal that was on and the inside that would have been like, um, you know, in the water. Looks like it's melted, which suggests that the water was super, super hot. Um, does anybody have any information about that? I'd be really interested to know if this is normal or if the water is hot when it's being pushed up by the crop. Yeah, interesting stuff. Right, new seals are on, so moment of truth. Turn the engine on, see if it leaks. And it doesn't leak, we've turned the prop both directions and we're good. We've gone for a bit of a walk, so we fixed the prop um well the weed hatch and it's working so we've still got an alternator problem though it still looks like the alternator isn't charging properly because the, the alternator light keeps coming on but we'll we'll worry about that when we get back to Ellesmere at least the engine's starting fine so we'll see so we've gone for a walk we've gone to the aqueduct and there's a lovely sign here which I'll show you and I'm sorry about the noise somebody's grass cutting down there <laughs> it's so noisy but yeah I'll show you this and then we can have a look over the aqueduct Here's a bit about the aqueduct, Thomas Telford. There's a bit about the aqueduct in the Nicholson's Guide as well. And it talks about that the canal was supposed to go through the local sort of Lord of the Manor's land and they refused the canal. So they had to build this very expensive aqueduct and diversion. Amazing. So if you want to read any of this, hit pause. Very fascinating. It's a mighty fine place to spit from, <laughs> as my granddad would say anyway. It's amazing. You don't get to kind of stop and have a look around here when you're actually on the boat, which we'll be doing tomorrow. It's a gorgeous piece of workmanship. Absolutely beautiful. 